I'd apparently have something left for me to do. Now back home after weeks in a coma. I wake up, I woke up on Easter morning. Leona Fugit has plenty to catch up on. Yeah, I have enough bills to pay without paying for something I'm getting nothing, nothing out of. On top of the medical bills, Fugit still needs repeated repairs of her air conditioning that she'd hoped by now would have been fixed. I just feel so stupid because I let them talk me into doing something that I knew I shouldn't have done in the first place. Fugit says she signed up with Choice Home Warranty in March 2022 and began paying $49.25 each month. A couple months later, she says her AC unit wasn't working right, so she called Choice. And that's when she says the problems really started. She says the contractor Choice sent out identified the problem but said the warranty wouldn't cover it. He said it'd be six hundred and fifty some dollars. And I said, honey, I don't have six hundred and fifty eight dollars. She paid half for half the refrigerant he said it needed. But it didn't hold, and she says the contractor ghosted her after that. So she reached out to the warranty company, who she says then told her they do cover it, but says they never sent someone else out, as promised, to fix it. And she still hasn't gotten reimbursed. To be honest, I've gave up fighting with them, other than then I finally got mad again the other day and called you guys. Choice Home Warranty has not responded to WKYT Investigate's request for comment. Fugit is far from the first person frustrated with Choice Home Warranty. The Kentucky Office of the Attorney General tells me they're looking into the company. They've received 47 complaints against them going back to 2018. And in the last three years, the Better Business Bureau in New Jersey, where the company's based, has received more than 11,000 complaints. There are some good ones and maybe some not so good ones. It's why BBB experts here in Kentucky encourage folks to do research ahead of time, looking up other customers' experiences and complaints, perhaps selecting a BBB accredited business and closely reading the warranties, terms and conditions. Your home is the largest and most expensive thing you own that you've invested in and you want to take good care of it. But all home warranty companies are not created equal. As a widow on a fixed income, Fugit says she feels taken advantage of. They pray not only this company, but a lot of other companies. If you're over 65, you're, you're fair game. She's already out hundreds of dollars and is now saving for the thousands she'll need soon to replace the AC unit. Fugit canceled the policy in November. She does not expect to get her money back now. If they did this to me, they did it to other older people like I am. But she hopes her story at least serves as a warning as she gets back to more of the unfinished business still ahead of her. In Berea, Garrett Weimer, WKYT.